kids. Oh, and then to no. half of it. He's gonna kill Arnold Schwarzenegger? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Mary and today we are going to be watching The Last Action Hero. I was today years old when I learnt of the existence of this film but before we get into it I want to thank my sponsor today Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning, growth and connection through creativity. I've recently signed up for an agency where I get to do extra work, being commercials, movies, things like that and that means I have had to have my headshots done. My first headshots I wasn't so happy with so I went over on Skillshare and I took a couple of lessons on how to pose for your headshots. I've been watching Sandy D's Posing Like a Pro lessons and there are about three lessons on headshots. So I've been using these skills to hopefully enhance my confidence during the posing part of having my photos taken because I wanted to try something new for 2022. And if you want to try new things in 2022 as well, the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description bar below will get a one month free trial for premium membership to Skillshare so that you can enhance your creativity too. Now as I was saying guys I was today years old when I even learned about this film's existence but I've heard a lot of great things about it. I know that Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it and I haven't seen a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger films but what I have seen I've really enjoyed and so I want to give this a go because it's a 90s movie and the 90s is my era and I love the 90s and I'm actually very surprised that I've never heard of this film. I like to go into films that I've never even heard of completely blind so I'm completely shocked and surprised and delighted by the film. I know it's a comedy and I love comedies so before we jump into this movie guys I want to remind you that the uncut version of this video is available on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below for that and you can also subscribe if you like my content because I make regular reaction review and gaming videos. So guys I think we're ready to get started so let's jump into this movie. Ripper. Secure the sidewalk. No one in out. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Oh. They're screwed. Oh, careful, careful. Whoa. Just what what was there? Like a mattress there? Ripper is Aussie slang for awesome. Like that was one ripper of a party. That's one ripper of a guy. Here? Not so good. Okay. He plays Ripper? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, he's the he's the good guy. God damn it, Jack, I'm talking to you. Is he yelling at Jack the Ripper? Oh, okay, sorry. He's Jack. You want to be a farmer? Here's a couple of acres. <laughs> Ouch! Right in the dick. Oh my gosh. There's a plain clothes officer in the building. Plain clothes officer. Yeah, we'll catch you. Dad? Andy here's been getting nervous. What the fuck? Gave my word of honor he could watch you die. Oh my god. He... Lose the cannon. His face. No wonder he's a murderer. You put me in a cage for ten years. Probably deserved it. You know what that's like, Jack? God, they're just kids. Now lose the gun. Oh my god, such a savage. Please tell me you have backup. All no. Right. I'm unarmed. No. I'll let the boy go. That can't be true. Just one gun, Jack? You gotta be kidding. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't seem likely. Okay, <laughs> a little more than one gun. He's not letting go Don't of count. his gaze on him. He's very much locked on. Unless uh, you consider this a weapon. A grenade? Well, that's just gonna kill everyone. Andy, pick up the grenade. Oh my God. When do grenades go off? I'm scared for the kid. That toy can't hurt the boy. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. Yes. <laughs> Lucky all of his weapons were on the floor. What the heck? This is a movie? Damn, this is a very 
beat up theater. I would not go here, <laughs> just for safety reasons. I've seen this later six times, I just got worried. <laughs> six times. The new Jack Slater opens this weekend at the Amish. They killed second cousin. Big mistake. Second cousin. <laughs> I could arrange for you to gain admittance. That is, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it appeals. <laughs> Nobody. All you have to do is to get to school. <laughs> He's been watching too many Jack Slater movies, this kid. <laughs> Who do I have to kill? Introducing Meredith Caprice. She's pretty. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays an actor in this movie. Shakespeare's Hamlet couldn't be more exciting. I've seen this old lady in so many films. Don't know her name, but she's played an old lady in a lot of films. He said bosom. <laughs> God, how boring. I'm glad I'm not in school anymore. Don't talk, just do it. <laughs> He's like me, talks at movies. He'd make a great reactor. Oh. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Big mistake. <laughs> Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. <laughs> it's a very famous Shakespeare line. I, I'd probably watch Shakespeare if it was like this. <laughs> yep, very historically accurate. I didn't choose any of this. I didn't say, hey, what the hell? Let me see what it'd be like to be a widow before I'm 40. Give that a try. The kid clearly needs to go to therapy. He's using movies as a form of escapism. Lost his father. He's just looking for a father figure in, in movies. Get to work. Hard work and mama. Really, kid? You just promised your mom. I, I mean, I guess it's not school he's cutting right now. But he did say he wouldn't open the door to anyone. The top lock is not locked. Oh! Oh! What the hell? What is this? Is this a horror film? I'll make it easier for you. Go ahead. Don't do it, kid. Don't do it. Don't become a murderer at such a young age. VCR? <laughs> well, that's what you get when you rob from a not so wealthy neighborhood. Oh, it's closed. Did Nick forget his promise? I always wanted to be a magician. My hands would be too tiny. You need large hands to be a magician? Then I worked myself up to projectionist. It's not much, but still showbiz. I'd say so. It's, I'd be stoked to have a job here. Harry Houdini played this theater and he said to me, he whispered, he said, this is a magic ticket. It's a passport to another world. Ooh, sounds pretty cool. This old man is giving this kid a lot of adventure. Please retain your stubs. You see that? Glittered, sparked. Shall we see if Mr. Slater wins this time? Jack Slater can't. Holy crap, it's so big. Such a big theater. Columbia Pictures. <laughs> Look at the excitement in his eyes. Jack Slater 4. Oh, it's like Tony Stark's house. I know you Jack Slater's favorite second cousin in the whole world. <laughs> second, pretty old second cousin he's got there. We mostly talk muzzle velocities. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a good shot. Uh. He wasn't even looking. Mr. Benedict. Oh, wow. Okay. Check out that eye. He likes to bait while he's shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The man is a surgeon. That's never good. What? Is that Charles Dance or something when he was younger? He actually believes me and old man Benelli are banding together. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's going to be the next one Benedict shoots? Everybody knows. Tony Vivaldi is number one. You are gonna Who does number one like this, by the way? I normally do number one like that. <laughs> Oof. Check out those shoes. I almost bought me a pair of shoes that look like that. We received an anonymous tip. Hmm. Curious. Frank? Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> he's like, wait, let me just check. Okay, it's open. 
Frank. What? And after all that, he died of natural causes. <laughs> what? Well, I wish I could choose when I die. Slater, message for Slater, okay. Uh, uh oh, God. Four, three, uh oh, two. It's a bomb. I mean, I, I guessed it was a bomb at five. <laughs> and I'm not even Jack Slater. He's okay. Minor wound. Both cops. <laughs> The kid. Yeah, the cops would be dead, but the main character, Slater, he would have survived. Oh. Two days to return. Oh. God damn. That's brutal. Oh my god. Drive by shooting? Dude, this is what scares me about America the drive by shooting. And just the shooting in general. Like I was watching The Office the other day and I got to the episode where Dwight shot a gun in the office. Freaks me out, man. Oh, what's happening to the ticket? Oh my God. What if the ticket makes him go inside the movie? Oh my God. That's dangerous. The old man gave him a dangerous ticket. There is a bomb in here. Or the movie could come out to him. <gasps> okay, Nick really screwed him over. Royally. <laughs> Where is he? What? Is he in the back of Slater's car or something? Oh, yes, he is. He is. <gasps> I'm Danny Madigan. I'm a kid. I mean, the first thing I would be doing is freaking out. This is his idol. How is he not freaking out? I guess there's other things to be freaked out about right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's easy if to practice a lot and never ever do it in heavy traffic. <laughs> Cruise mode, baby. This is, this is really happening. Oh, why is it always dynamite? <laughs> Get the dynamite, Slater. Quick! It's not a lot of time left. <gasps> oh, God. I guess, are they in New York? New York City? Looks like it could be. Oh, oh, actually LA. Yeah, right here, right, right here exactly looks like LA. Not that I know LA, but I know GTA 5. <laughs> and Los Santos is inspired by Los Angeles. Damn. I voted sorry. I thought I was gonna die. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. <gasps> but you're gonna live Dude. And enjoy all the glorious fruit of life. Cars jumping out in the sky like GTA as well. Um, this is very dangerous. There is a kid on board. <laughs> I guess he was betting on them to... Oh my... His body was... Holy shit! <laughs> it's a Whoa. Whoa. Oh my lord! Oh, these poor women, they're traumatized. <laughs> Holy cow! I'm in the movie! Wow, this is the best day of this kid's life, but I'm worried for the mom. She must be worried. <laughs> hey, Slater! It's your ex-wife on two! She's always calling me. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Oh, that's nice that they're on good terms. No, just as you say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Can't hold a conversation like that. I would be so sus. <laughs> the bureau thinks something strange is going on between... I know this actor, but I don't know where from. Well, I'm not parked behind the desk all day eating those donuts. <laughs> okay, maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but I hate donuts. Never saw the appeal. I saved his life in Nam. So make sure <laughs> to be on the lookout. Thanks. Now. Nam. No more movies. Oh. the city council, chewing my eggs off, but it's playing your crap. Stop yelling. Oh. He's a delight, isn't he? What the fuck? What the hell is that thing? I can prove this is a movie. Shh. Who the hell are you, kid? Look out there, this is a cartoon cat. It was only suspended for a month. Oh, shut up. <laughs> this, is no this is normal to them. The cat just walked into the squad room. Hello? He'll do it again <laughs> tomorrow, so what's your point? This is normal for them. 
I just love the way you two fight. The way how you really feel about each other. <laughs> just how do I feel about this weird looking puppy <laughs> poop? Your dearest friends. After your wife left you for oh. the circus mission. <laughs> you saved me from public humiliation, Jack. You're my dearest friend. <laughs> and you promised me you wouldn't tell. I didn't. Well then how did he know? <laughs> <laughs> this kid knows everything. My second cousin Frank found out some crucial drug information. I wouldn't put too much faith into what Vivaldi. <laughs> oh yeah, he knows the beginning of the movie. <laughs> now if you would just listen. All right, to son. I got the perfect listener for you. <laughs> Meet your new partner. Wow, they're gonna be partners? That's huge. I'm Jack Slater's new partner. Jack and I will be working together for the duration of the film. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, stop calling it a film. If this was a real world, that wouldn't make me your partner. They'd assign me to a social <laughs> Oh my god, look, what the hell is with those lady cops? Then shoot me. That's right. Take your gun, point it at my head, and pull the trigger. Come on, do it. He doesn't think it'll work because it's a movie. <laughs> you really believe that you're inside a movie, don't you? Yes. <laughs> right. I'll give you 10 minutes to prove it. Okay, question. What is Jack Slater's actor's name in Wait, the real world? <gasps> oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's actually just playing himself. Arnold Schwarzenegger playing Arnold Schwarzenegger playing Jack Slater. It's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. He's fantastic. But that was you. That was, you were in that movie. That's crazy. They've replaced him. Everyone has a 555 number. There can only be 9,999 numbers that start with 555. He's a smart kid. I got one. What about this girl right here? She is way too attractive. Whoa. To right? And also, what is she wearing? There are no unattractive women here. I mean, where are the ordinary, everyday Yeah, women? exactly. Women don't dress like that. They don't exist because this <laughs> is a movie. No, this is California. <laughs> I mean, California is pretty superficial at the same time. This ticket is magic, and it really works. Any second, we're gonna drive right into a field. How do you get out of the movie? I mean, all these years at the academy, studying human character. I mean, all I had to do is just drive around the neighborhood and point my finger at the house and say, "The bad guys are here." <laughs> 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 you know I am. I'm a Braunschweiger. Braunschweiger. <laughs> <laughs> butchering his own name. That is hilarious. Yes. Could I speak to the drug dealer of the house, please? <laughs> Are there any in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye now. I mean, he approached it pretty sarcastically. I'll be back. Ha! You're not going to say that, you? <laughs> That's what you always say. Everybody keeps waiting for you to work it in. It's kind of like your calling card. <laughs> I'll be back. I understand you're interested in drug dealers. Okay, he's he's not Charles Dance, but he looks like the younger Charles Dance. Are you a henchman? <laughs> no, I only go as far as lucky. That's a British accent, though. Let's take off your glasses. <gasps> oh my gosh. They are exceptionally well trained. This is why dogs scare me. <laughs> oh shit, no, but that's cute. <laughs> oh, he, oh. He can change his eye? That was really quick. Earlier the day in the day, he had a different one. Oh, he's he's sus now. Also, that smiley face in his eye reminds me of the watch uh watchman. I'm going to find out more about Slater's short friend. <laughs> you won't be able to find anything, because he doesn't exist. Why'd we park back there? In case my ex-wife is around. Don't worry, she's not. Her name wasn't in the credits. <laughs> wow! What the hell? Did you drive on the weekends? Lame. Whoa. What the hell? You're not skeezy, are you? Why did she just kiss a child in the mouth? That's a bit weird. Who's your friend? He's cute. Uh, cradle snatcher, back off. Oh, that's why she did it. She thought he was a freshman. Your son. What's wrong? Just remember your son? You don't happen to have a cigar, do you? <laughs> He's a kid. Dad! 
Oh, don't tell me he sh did he shot shoot his kid? Oh, oh, oh my God! No way! No way! His oh his kid died! What? Oh no! Oh, that is that is horrendous. That is terrible. He would have been your age. I know. Of course he knows. <gasps> Toto. Uh oh. I swear it's the younger Charles dance. I mean, this was 28 years ago, so it, he must have looked like this. I've never seen him as a young actor. <laughs> what are you gonna do, kid? Really? <gasps> oh. Oh, I don't like that sound. To somebody in the desk, take it and leave me and Meredith. Whitney alone. <laughs> he keeps calling her by her actor name. <laughs> burn it. Oh. <laughs> yes, burn it. What, what if it is real? Oh! Rude. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, girl. Holy shit. Wow. Oh. I love that she's screaming and kicking ass at the same time. It's sounding like she's losing, but actually, she's winning. Free. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Kid, shut up. <laughs> oh, God damn! Oh, that's Ski? Ski? Whatever that kid. Skeezy? <gasps> oh, wow. So quick. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. It's always the minions that get shot first. Charles Dance is fine, and he'll probably be fine for the whole movie. Don't give up your day job. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Damn. Wow. His house is fucked up. <gasps> I hope he was wearing a bullet. Oh, yep. It seems like he was protected somehow. Yes, there we go. He came prepared. Got to catch the red eye. Damn. Love a good green screen, don't we? Now, <laughs> now. <laughs> Catch a ride, kid. Oh, or chicken it is. Really, kid? I I don't think you should try that, kid. You're not scripted in the movie, so I don't know what's gonna happen to you. He has a lot of faith. It's like E.T. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, kid. Ouch. Damn, that moon. I wish the moon looked like that where I lived. Sheesh. Look at this place. It's impressive. Ugh. What the, the heck? He changes his eyes so often. Those are his favorite ones, I guess. <laughs> <gasps> the ticket! Oh no. It's glowing. <gasps> Is he gonna go into the real world? You're traveling to another dimension. Yes, you are. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> the way he's like spelling it out for the cops as well. Just say this one word. Hasta la vista, baby? This is another one of your movie proofs. Maybe. It's gotta be Hasta La Vista, baby. You can't possibly say it because this movie is PG-13. Oh. Admit it. Hmm. I don't know what else he's said. <laughs> PG-13 movie. Mm. Vengeance is... Mine? Don't touch <gasps> oh, shit! You the bell on it. Cut, make it like it. Take you How are they okay? It's a movie. <laughs> oh my god, this boss is unbearable. He said cocksucking. How is it possible? It's a PG-13 movie. Give me your badge. And this time you won't get it back. God damn. It's brutal. 
Oh my, look at these cops. They're literally in sex clothes. Where are we anyway? Home. God, I'd hate to live there. You're not just my hero, you're everybody's hero. And it'll all be okay again. Trust me. Oh. <laughs> You think I would marry someone so stupid that doesn't know the real voice from a taped one? Yeah. <laughs> I pay a cash to the drug store. They call me every so often at the station so the guys think I have a private life. Oh, wow. That's sad. That's actually very sad. Why can't she not be like every other teenager? On prom night, she stays home and field strips at AK-47. Like father, like daughter. She's gonna die a young maid. A young it. maid? Who the hell says that? <laughs> Hey, you can't die till the grosses go down. <laughs> he knows a lot about blockbuster films. They cut Leo open like a turkey, stuffed him with TNT. He goes off at the funeral and takes out the entire Torelli mob all at once. Oh. That's what all this has been about. Ah. Oh. Leo the Fart is going to pass gas one more time. <laughs> oh my god, of course. Of course. Oh my lord. What a private fancy funeral oh <gasps> it's got they've got 10 minutes left well, that's nice giving the family time to say goodbye before they join wait a minute what if staying in the car what gets me killed true there's a gun in the glove compartment of course there is <laughs> oh sh there's a few guns in the glove compartment <laughs> we both know there's no side entrance to this hotel Oh, great. You said you killed Mozart. Oh, who? Zart. <laughs> Mozart. He Carnegie Hall. Yes, he didn't stay in the car. In a body bag, if you don't drop that. <laughs> Stop, okay. Don't. Step back. Step back. Oh. You're about to murder Jack Slater. Oh, my God. No way. You'll be dead, but... Freeze! Yes. Man, are you an idiot? You made the classic movie mistake. Explain so much. <laughs> it's true. It's such a classic movie mistake. It's behind the eight ball, you moron. I feel like he's gonna turn on everyone. <gasps> oh, it's the cat. Where the hell have you been? Sorry, Jack. Danny's face is like no fucking way. I want it on top of the roof in two minutes. Go. You'll figure it out, kid. It's a movie. I don't even know how to drive. <laughs> See, kid? It's a movie. You figured it out. My God! This man's not dead! <laughs> this man is a doctor! <laughs> I'm a doctor. Check his chin. Oh! The doctor has fainted. Can you help this man? <laughs> the doctor has fainted. <laughs> Of course, the whole Torelli family would have guns. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh shit, dude. He's he's surrounded. Oh! 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 He is such a lucky man. Oh no. Again, very lucky. <gasps> Careful! You're targeted. Oh, and there she goes. Down she goes. Uh-oh. Five bucks he survives. No, let's let's make it 20 bucks. Oh, there we go. Something to hang on to. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Ugh. Oh, one minute. It's the worst place to be right now. Oh, 41 seconds. The kid is calm. I would be a nervous wreck with that time. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Where did he, where, oh no, he's in there too. Swim the fuck out. <laughs> it's just a kid with a gun. <laughs> come on, come on, man. Come on. 
Oh god. Oh god. Don't don't look! Just jump out! The fuck? What is this? Oh my god. The explosion is containing itself in the liquid. Silent but deadly. <laughs> you know, Tor actually sticks to some people. Not not on him. Cause it's a movie. Hey Dad! Hey Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No one finds this a little convenient? Hey, kid, you always said this is a movie, didn't you? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the special effects. <laughs> this is just so funny. I don't know why. I just get the feeling Benedict's gonna kill him. Complete and utter balls up, and I've had a terrible day thanks largely <gasps> to you. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. I knew it. I knew he was going to kill him from the moment they had their first interaction. If God was a villain, he'd be me. Well, wouldn't that make you just the devil? I feel like Charles Dance would play a good devil. I mean, a bad devil, but a good devil, you know? <laughs> That was for blowing up my second cousin Frank's house. I love how he always says second cousin. This is for my daughter's black eye! <laughs> oh no, he just threw him into the real world! The ticket! He's got the ticket. it has got the ticket! Yep, 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 yep. Now come on! Come on! Say yes to adventure! Meantime, please be careful. Things were different here. You're not invincible, for one. Doesn't work as well in the real world. <laughs> now this is a car chase, baby. And then I, I bet he'll get a shock when he realizes how real people look like in the real world. They're not all hot. <laughs> this isn't the movies anymore, Jack. Here you have to reload guns. <laughs> reload guns. <laughs> you need ammo. Oh God. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just make sure they're dead. Give me a break, they're dead. Just check, that, will you? That's a real person. I always look dead, like a diehard. The guy's hanging there by his neck, and at the end of the movie, he comes back. <laughs> it's, it's true. There, he sees his name. Schwarzenegger is Jack Slater. You got a place I can sit down. <laughs> this is a lot. A lot to deal with. I was with Jack Slater every step of the way. <laughs> Nick's like, this kid's crazy. Oh no, maybe not. Yes. This time, I never used it because I, I, I was too frightened. You wasted your youth, old man. This, this is a wonderful moment for me, Mr. Slater. I've never met a fictional. <laughs> What a sentence. I just found out I was imaginary. <laughs> I mean, how would you feel if you found out that somebody made you up? Your job, your marriage, your kids. Yeah, it's like you have all these feelings about things and then it's like, ah, oh, it's all fake. I don't find it so really exciting to discover that my whole life has been a damn movie. Yeah, that's, that's pretty messed up. I got another chance. I, I, could I have the ticket back, please? Well... Uh, about that. <laughs> e Problemo, if you like. This is bad. How the hell are you gonna get back? That's a good question. That's weird. In this world, there are two Arnold Schwarzeneggers. Imagine if they ever met. That would be crazy. Where have you been? Oh yeah, remember the mom? You know how you always say you wished I had more friends? <laughs> well... It's like an old man. I'd be extremely worried <laughs> as a mother. I'm a Braunschweiger. Braunschweiger again. <laughs> He's probably not used to the women looking a certain type of way either. Take your shoes, man. Come on, we got fucked. Killed? Shoes? Killed a guy for his shoes? He's like, but in my world, everybody has shoes. 
Oh, is he gonna sh Is he gonna shoot him? Oh, that was so mean. I said I have murdered a man and I want to confess. Nobody cares. <laughs> he likes this world. <laughs> He's flirting with the mum, huh? This is business about going to the movies at midnight when you knew your mother would be worried. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the mum's like, see? What's that? What's that? The guy practice killed? <laughs> That's right, Jack. <laughs> you like classical music? Why, yes. I don't know. Oh, he's just... I think I will. Oh, he's just experiencing music. I love classical music. You tell my mom who you really were? He's off script now. He can do whatever he wants. You can have complete freedom to do whatever you want. Who is he talking to? And you'll never have to go back to this film again. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit. He went into the third Jack Slater movie and he got Ripper out before he died. Jack, there he is! Oh, of course he gets in a cab. Oh. Oh. What the hell? He just broke the taxi. See those movies where they say, make my day, or I'm your worst nightmare. Well, listen to this one. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Ha! You didn't know I'm gonna say that, did you? <laughs> he just wants to be unpredictable. Oh, no, no, the guy's in the back reading the paper. He escaped. Oh, oh my God, he's yeah, going into... So going the he's been going to scary movies. Oh, no. Oh, <gasps> he's going to kill Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, wow. Benedict mm. is going to kill Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger? Who's well, Slater? Bingo. Yep, and then no more Slater movies can be made. Come here, what did Brett Fraser wear tonight? Uh, I thought I might kill someone. Oh, great. <laughs> Maybe just start with your designer. <laughs> Classic red carpet interviewers. Let's see your invitation. Oh, God, he's going to shoot him. Oh my goodness. It's Tom Noonan, of course, the actor who played the Ripper. <gasps> the Ripper. That's weird, isn't it? What do you think Jack Slater says about America? Uh, do we want to hear it? Oh, that guy. I'm not really a big fan of Arnold's. Uh, she is, you know. Wow. <laughs> Arnold really turns around and I just want to be there when it happens. That's all oh my God. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's probably going to get the actor Tom in trouble as well. Where am I sitting? Um, I believe you're in the, uh, upper. Lower! <laughs> what do you do when Arnold Schwarzenegger asks you where he's supposed to be sitting? You freak out! Somebody should be checking that on the balcony. Yes, kid! Yes! Look, the deal's <laughs> done, right? What? Slayer 5 soundtrack! <laughs> Love the cameos, huh? Mm -hmm. There he is! The child-murdering scumbag. <gasps> oh god oh god shoot him shoot him get your revenge <laughs> arnold versus arnold <laughs> oh get the hell off me <laughs> he's like what the fuck is going on you know you're the best celebrity like i've ever seen <laughs> that's hilarious that is just so good like you, right? Oh shit. Pain. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's true. Arnold acted all of those parts out. <laughs> he's he's like this this is so serious and everyone's just like woo premiere <laughs> Oh no it's like his son all over again. This is so many levels of messed up. It's now between you and me. So let the boy go. Now we've played this nerve before, haven't we, Jack? It's very familiar. Why don't we just skip to the end? <gasps> oh, wow. He did not. Come here, Jack. Come on. Come here. Come on. How, how is he so confident without his axe? He's got something up his sleeve. Oh, God. 
Oh. 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 I see. Electrocution. Perfect. <laughs> no, you won't. Die. Die, bitch. The hell you will. Okay, can someone check up on Danny now? Oh, yes! He survived! That is so lucky. And in the real world, too. I mean, technically not the real world. This is very, very meta. <laughs> this is Inception before it was Inception. Well, not really, but it's a movie within a movie. You hold on with your feet and with your legs. And you let Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, on, it, they don't reach. Yeah. They don't reach. No. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Swung him to the top. Did it. He saved. <laughs> he saved a kid, even if he couldn't save his son. He saved Danny. And he, he got his revenge as well. I, <laughs> I think my shoulder is out of the socket. <laughs> Ooh. Benedict is relentless. The whole army is swarming with cops. Oh, I think I can manage to avoid that. Oh, true. He's got the ticket. I can get King Cole. <gasps> we'll have a nightmare with Freddy Krueger. Have a surprise party for that old pit. Oh, no. Wow. He has gotten really creative with his killing ideas. In this world, the bad guys can win. Mm-hmm. Very, very sad reality. Yeah, you forgot your ammo, dude. You have to reload in the real world. No, Jack. I just left one chamber empty. <gasps> no. <gasps> oh, please tell me Jack was wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> uh, uh, and the kid has got to be fake crying. Bad guys can win. No way. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Poor Jack. Oh. Come on, come on. No sequel for you. The Oh! <laughs> In the eye. Yes! The ticket. Yeah, true. Oh no. That is going to be hard to find and in the rain too. Oh. Oh no, oh no, not the Grim Reaper. Oh. <laughs> so Ian McKellen? I hope they save him. Don't you understand? We gotta get him back to the movies! <laughs> I said turn around! Jesus, kid. <laughs> right, just right, they always run away! <laughs> kid, you're sounding and looking a bit crazy. Do you know how to try it? Sure, I watched you, didn't I? Uh-oh. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> the cameos, man. <laughs> the cameos. I love it. Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. Does that mean that guy's gonna die? He's like, oh, my favorite place. The hospital. Oh god, really? Smashing into your friend Nick's theater? Really? He hasn't got the wrecking ball yet. Nick has the other half of the ticket though. Because he did rip it in half at the beginning of the movie. It's gotta be here, Jack. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Oh god. The Grim Reaper's come for him. What do you think, Jack? Uh that doesn't work on the Grim Reaper. <laughs> oh good. What? You die, grandfather. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, Slater's fictional. He wouldn't be on his list. That would just be weird. You gotta get him back. You can do it. I know you can. I don't do fiction. Uh. Not my fiction. Uh. <laughs> someone has to tell this guy he's fictional. <laughs> I might be looking for the other half of the ticket. Oh. Remember? Nick has the other half. Yes! Got it, Jack. Come on. He's not looking great. Oh. Uh, 
it worked because he's a fictional character. It knows that he has to go back home. It's working, even without the film. Yes! Oh, how good to hear his voice again. How do you come back into this world knowing that everything is fictional? Hopefully he has some kind of memory wipe. Jack. <laughs> Roger Rabbit was better. <laughs> get back before he changes its mind. No way. I'm not gonna leave you. Just watch what happens. Just watch what happens in the movie. I'm scared I'm never gonna see him again. You'll see him in the movies. Come on. Oh, he went back. You want a doctor? I'm a doctor. Get out of the way. I'm a doctor. Of course, of course there's a doctor. What is this? Some kind of a joke? I wouldn't even call us a flesh wound. Come on, let's get him It's hilarious. I am the hero, so shut up! Oh my god. He's going off script. <laughs> ah, the ticket's yours, Danny. I think the magic was yours, too. Aw, good old Nick. This film was a great commentary on action films because action films, the most unlikely situations occur and the good guys always get away and the bad guys always die. I mean, Jack Slater's ex-wife's house got bombed, literally got bombed and Jack Slater and Danny survived. The bad guy's car exploded mid air. It didn't even have a chance to land before the explosion. It just exploded midair. Things like that. That was just, it was hilarious. It was a great parody. It was really enjoyable to watch. I loved this movie. It was meta before meta even became a thing. It was a movie within a movie and I loved all of the cameos as well. I can't even believe that I haven't heard of this film until today because so many people are in this film that I know. I don't know Austin O'Brien who played the kid, Danny, but I'm looking at his IMDb and he was in My Girl 2 and some other 90s movies so I feel like he was a great child actor but that's probably why I don't know of him right now. He's apparently 40 years old which is crazy but he did a really good job playing Danny as well. He was such a cute kid and I love the dynamic that he had with Jack Slater as well. They had a very nice father-son dynamic especially because Jack Slater's son died in the third Jack Slater movie and Danny's real dad also died so they were both filling this void for each other and and it was really nice to see on screen. The one thing that I questioned is how someone can go back into their fake world knowing that it's all fake, scripted, filmed, and just live a content life. That's the one question that I had. And I guess it only works because Jack Slater is a fictional character, but I would think that if I found out my life was fake, I couldn't go back to that fake world and just live and be content. I would need therapy. I would have an existential crisis. I would be panicking. I would be freaking out. But Jack Slater just went in, told his boss what's what, and he, he had his own rant uh, on and off screen as well. We could hear the muffling of that conversation in the background when Nick and Danny started talking as well. Nick was also such a great character. I loved how much he was there for Danny as well, because of course Danny doesn't have a lot of friends and you know he's lost his dad and he is using movies to escape. And now it's not an escape. He gets to go into these films and visit all of his favorite characters whenever he wants because he has the other half of the ticket. Also, I want to talk about Charles Dance because this is the first film I've ever seen him act in as a young actor. I have never seen Charles Dance other than him as an old man. So he was slightly recognizable. Obviously his facial features and his voice even. Voices age as well. So it was very, it was a very recognizable voice and he looked very recognizable. I'm so glad I was right about that because that would have been highly embarrassing. I was so convinced it was Charles Dance and it was. I didn't have a look at the IMDb cast list before I watched this film. As I said, I went into it completely blind, but even Sir Ian McKellen was in it. That was a lovely cameo. And yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this film. I think the pacing was really good. The action was really amazing. And even the special effects for its time was good. This film was released in 1993. The directing was good. I loved the dialogue. I loved the chemistry between the actors on screen. It was great. I loved it. It was funny. It was lighthearted. Lots of action. Kept me entertained. Let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out. Uncut version is over on Patreon. You just need a copy 
of the film so that you can watch along with me. I watched it over on Netflix and I think it's also available on Netflix for the US at this very point in time. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.